Welcome inside the Globe Studios on the campus of Goshen College. My name is Dante Stanton, and this is the Goshen News Weekend Wrap-Up, presented by Globe TV. We've got a great show for you on the way today. Before we get into the details, we will remind you that, as always, all stories brought to you during the Weekend Wrap-Up were originally reported by the Goshen News. During this week's show, we'll continue to follow a developing story surrounding an area landlord and his properties. We'll visit a spooky Halloween-themed trail in Wawasee and talk more about the launch of a new Toys for Tots campaign. But first, Manufacturing Day. Thursday was a day Goshen Junior High Schoolers know to look forward to every year as Manufacturing Day is an annual event and a national program that introduces students to the field of manufacturing. A total of six businesses participated, including View Rail, Berry Global, Lippert Plant 50, Lippert Plant 228W, Patrick's Foremost Fabricators, and Wayland Designs. The day gives students a chance to realize that there's more to the manufacturing business in Elkhart County beyond just RVs, and that there are multiple clear clusters within the industry. Now, the annual Toys for Tots campaign is underway in Elkhart. That's right, I know we've had a recent focus on Halloween, but Christmas is not too far away. The 2023 toy campaign kicked off on Monday during a launch ceremony at Grand Design RV. Each year, the community comes out to donate a collection of toys for local children of families in need. The launch means that you'll soon be seeing donation boxes pop up throughout Elkhart County. Those will stay in place until December 9th. More than 200 boxes will be posted in total, but once it hits that December date, volunteers will collect the boxes, assemble the gifts, and then send them out to kids all over the county. Now, if in your need and support a holiday this season, you can learn more information about how to register online at elkhart.intoysfortots.com. Well, some fall fun is headed your week this week. If you're in Michiana, you can make the drive over to the Wawasee Area Conservancy Saturday or Sunday for their Fantastic Trail Walk. It was dedicated earlier this week for the 8th annual event, which is said to feature spider webs, witch hats, and maybe even some ghosts, although I'm told they're pretty friendly. So friendly, in fact, that one is actually safe for the kids. There will be no ghouls or goblins jumping out at you on the walk. There are two rail options that are available for around two miles long each. The walk is unguided, so you get to explore on your own with the help of a few directional signs. Once the walk wraps up, there will be refreshments and Halloween-themed crafts available for the kids. If you're worried about finding a place to rest, volunteers say that there will be several bales of hay spread throughout each trail so that folks can take a break. Last year, the event saw record attendance with several hundred folks coming through. Again, if you're interested, you can hit the trail on Saturday or Sunday from noon to 4 p.m. And an end result has been reached in the continuous back and forth between Elkhart County Commissioners and area landlord Ron David Zihar. As you recall, last week David Zihar laid out a plan to commissioners to auction off a total of eight of his properties to the highest bidder rather than have them demolished. David Zihar's auctioneer stated last week that he hopes whoever would buy each home will be able to remodel and rent the homes at a quicker rate than he could himself. During his final plea to commissioners on Monday, David Zihar admitted that he normally takes care of some of the renovations himself but is struggling to do so in his advanced age. Despite his approach to the commissioners, they voted unanimously in favor of demolition. Owners of the property at each site are responsible for reimbursing the county for the cost of demolition at each location. Now that's going to do it for this week's episode of the Goshen News Weekend Wrap-Up, presented by Globe TV. Again, all stories featured on the Weekend Wrap-Up are originally reported by the Goshen News. We hope you continue to make this show a part of your weekly routine. Catch more Globe content online at our website, globeradio.org. And our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly known as Twitter, all at 911 The Globe. Until next week, for Globe News, I'm Dante Stanton.